Mr. Wright here, and welcome to this film in which I'll take you through my must revise topics for Edexcel IGCSE Maths Paper 2 HR. This is the paper which takes place on Monday, the 3rd of June, and from the time of recording, that's two weeks away. So we've got two weeks to work together to get you as ready as possible for this paper. Now, just before I start taking you through the topics, a couple of things. First of all, please watch the film through to the end. I have tried to pack it with as much information as I can to help you out. So please get all you can from the film by watching it through to the end. Secondly, these are my must revise topics for paper two HR. I don't know what's on the paper. Indeed, nobody will know what's on the paper until you guys sit it on Monday the 3rd of June, but I have done my very best to make these list of topics as appropriate as possible. These are the topics which I think will be coming up in your paper too. Now, this film is going to be part of a playlist called Getting Ready for Paper 2 HR or something like that. And throughout the next few days, I'll be adding films to this playlist, each one specifically targeted at one of the topics which are on my must revise list. So if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel to make sure you are notified when I add films to that playlist and keep an eye on the channel and on that playlist because I'll be uploading films over the next few days. Right, you're going to need a pen and you're going to need to jot down these topics as I take you through them. Incidentally, once I've uploaded this film, I will be getting to work on the accompanying videos, each one targeted at one of the topics I've mentioned. If you'd like me to prioritise producing one film over another, if you've got a particular topic you'd like me to get the film out for first, then let me know in the comments and of course I'll prioritise that topic. Right, here we go. Here are my must revise topics for Edexcel Maths IGCSE Paper 2 HR. Right, my must revise topics for Paper 2 HR. Here we go. Now, beforehand, let me tell you how I made the list so that you're clear about what I've done. What I did was I found out everything I could about which topics came up in Paper 1 HR, and many of you contributed to that, and thank you. And then I took that list and I looked at it against my list of topics, which generally always come up. And that left me with a list of topics which I think you must revise for Paper 2 HR because I think these topics are going to show. Right, so what are those topics? Okay, here we go. Grab a pen because there's lots of information coming. Right, number first of all. So the first topic which I think is coming up is percentages. Now, I think we've seen percentage profit already and loss. I think we've seen compound changes. We haven't seen questions about percentage changes. So here's a straightforward example here where you take 20% off a normal price. Okay. And here in this second question here is an example where you have to take two amounts and work out what the percentage increase has been. Here we are looking at an annual salary in Japanese yen and working out the amount after an increase. And here we are in the cinema question here, working out the cost of something before a percentage change. Often we call those reverse percentage changes. So when it comes to percentages, yes, I think they're coming up. And what do I think specifically is coming up? Questions on percentages change. Right, bounds haven't come up yet. Now, these are questions where you are given a figure correct to a certain degree of accuracy, and you need to work out the lower bound and the upper bound of the true figure. This is a straightforward question. Questions can get slightly more difficult where you're given a formula and you need to choose whether to take the upper or the lower bound of each of the variables concerned to give you, in this case, the upper bound for a value. Okay, and questions can be more complex still, where the formula is more complex and generally involves some division. Okay, and here is a question where you're not given the formula and you have to work out the formula that you're going to use given the context of the question. You'll want to look into, you'll want to go further into this particular playlist, my preparing for paper 2H playlist, sorry, preparing for paper 2HR playlist, and you will find films to help you with bounds. 
Right, next topic, which I think you must revise, is standard form. So generally, questions on standard form come up at least once every year. We haven't seen them yet. Now, the questions might be quite straightforward, like these two here. Perhaps you'll have to do a calculation using numbers which are given to you in standard form. Or perhaps you'll need to answer a question here which has a context and you'll have to decide what mathematical operations you're going to perform on these numbers in standard form to answer a question such as from which company offers the best value in this case. Again, have a look at the preparing for paper 2HR playlist and I will be putting something on standard form in there as soon as I can. Right, shape and space. Polygons haven't shown yet. So questions involving polygons require you to know how to work out interior angles, exterior angles, and also answer problems around the properties of polygons, perhaps also involving the sum of the interior angles. So here's an example of a relatively straightforward polygon question. But the questions can become more complex really quite quickly. And this question here is a question which could appear at the end of a paper. That's a question which those of you going for the top grades will want to tackle really quite competently. And I'll put a range of questions in my polygons film in the playlist. Right, moving on. Topic five. We haven't had any problems around circumferences and areas of circles yet. Sometimes questions are quite straightforward, such as this one here, where you have to find the perimeter and the area, or the perimeter or the area, of a, of a part of a circle. Sometimes you're asked to find perimeters and areas of shapes, such as this one. And sometimes the questions involve a bit of trig and a bit of Pythagoras as well, this one, to find the area or the perimeter of this shape here, you'd need to use Pythagoras as it happens. Okay, so you should expect a problem around areas and circumferences of circles to come up. This example is an example which is taken from a very last question or penultimate question of the paper. And again, this is as tough as they get. And those of you looking for the top grades will want to be able to tackle a question like this one. Okay, vectors. Now vectors is I would say extremely likely to show, I would say all these topics are extremely likely to show. A range of questions you might be asked on vectors, you might be asked simply to add two vectors as is the case in the top question here, or you might be asked to find the magnitude. So it keeps on flipping, there you are. Find the magnitude of, um, of a vector such as in this question here. Vectors might be hidden in two dimensional problems, which is the case in these two questions, you might be asked to use vectors or to find certain vectors. And generally speaking, this sort of question appears towards the end of a paper and requires a really quite complex vector analysis. I often solve these using lambdas and mu's, and I will make sure that there are some of these questions in the preparing for paper 2HR playlist as well. Okay, that's vectors. Make sure it's firmly on your list. Right, data. We haven't, we've had a few probability questions, but nothing involving probability trees yet. And generally, probability trees comes up at least once every year. Sorry, it's jumped again. Here we are. Come back. There. Right. Now, sometimes in the probability tree, whatever happens at the beginning here does not affect the second event. The two events are independent. And sometimes, in a probability tree question, the probability of the second event changes depending upon what happened before it. And a frequent example of that is when you have some counters in a bag or some sweets in the bag. You take a sweet and eat it. Well, then when you take a second sweet, clearly there are a different number of sweets in the bag as a whole, and also there is a different number of the type of sweet you've just eaten. Okay, so beware when you're working out the probabilities of the second outcome when you're doing probability trees. Algebra topics. Right, so simultaneous equations. Now, I, I, my understanding is that simultaneous equations have come up, but only when both equations were linear. And so I would expect you to have a question like one of these two, 
where one of the equations is not linear. And the trick in these questions is to use one of the equations to get an expression for either x or for y, and to substitute that into the second of the equations. These are good marks, if you can pick them up, and I will put some examples in the Preparing for Paper 2 HR playlist. Functions is a large topic which hasn't come up yet. Now, sometimes the questions are relatively straightforward. You can pick up straightforward marks here. Sometimes questions involve composite functions, like this one here. Sometimes you need to think about the domain of one of the functions. Sometimes you need to solve equations around functions, or in this case here, around the fact given to you on a composite function there, g h of x. Right? Sometimes you need to find inverse functions, and that can involve completing the square. So these are questions which could appear towards the end of the paper and should be on your list if you are going for a top grade. You need to be fluent at completing the square and at rearranging um, formulae. So you'll want to use the playlist preparing paper to HR because I'll put some functions things in there as well for you. Proportion, another big topic that hasn't shown yet. Either you will be told that two variables are directly proportional, and in this case here, you would find a formula for t in terms of r, and then you would be asked to find the value of t given a value of r, or the value of r given a value of t. Alternatively, of course, you might be given two variables which are inversely proportional to each other, which is the case in this question. But again, the questions tend to work in much the same way, in this question, you'd have to find a formula for f in terms of r, and then use that formula. You'd either be given a value of r, and you'd be asked to work out the corresponding value of f, or you'd be given a value of f, and you'd be asked to find the corresponding value of r. Right, we're almost there, I think. Graph topics, right. I'm not sure that there's been a lot of working with nonlinear graphs yet. You could be asked to identify um, graphs here, such as you are in this question. You could be asked to plot perhaps the graph of a cubic function, as you are in this question. And you could be asked to use the graph of, in this case, a quadratic function to solve some equation. So in this case, you're given the graph of y equals 2x squared minus 4x minus 1. And you're asked to use that graph to solve what is a relatively straightforward equation here. And then you're asked to use the graph to solve an equation like this one, which is highlighted in blue. And in order to solve that using the graph you're given, you need to do some algebraic manipulation first. Have a look at the Preparing for Paper 2 HR playlist. I will do all I can for you in those films. I think this is the last topic, transforming graphs. This is when you're given the graph and you're asked to um, transform the graph. Okay, in this case, the graph has been altered and you need to work out what happens to the graph of the curve given those alterations. Again, have a look at the playlist. I'll do all I can to help you out. Right, that is the end of my topic list. Please, please, please keep an eye on this playlist that's preparing for Paper 2 HR because I will be adding films to this playlist over the next few days. If you've got any questions, please comment on the film and of course I'll help you out. And if you have any requests, if you'd like me to prioritise my revision film for one topic over another, then tell me which topic's at the top of your list and I will try and get those films out first. And lastly, please share this film with anyone you know who is taking Edexcel IGCSE Maths Paper 2 HR because it would be great if we could spread the word and if we can all get the best grade that we possibly can on our IGCSE Maths. Thanks for watching. See you in the